I'm making scalloped potatoes. They're gonna be cheesy and creamy. To start, I'm thinly slicing two pounds of Yukon Gold potatoes, and I'm slicing about an eighth to a quarter inch slices. All my potatoes are sliced. I'll set these aside and then make my creamy, cheesy sauce. I've got my skillet heated here. I'm gonna add a couple of tablespoons of butter, and I'm gonna let this melt. I'll add three tablespoons of flour, and that's gonna combine with the butter to create a roux, and that's gonna thicken the milk to create that rich sauce. I'll whisk the flour into the butter and let it cook for about a minute so that the flour flavor can dissipate. Now I've got one and a half cups of whole milk here, and I'm gonna add it really gradually, whisking continuously to allow it to combine and thicken. And I wanna whisk it constantly to ensure the smoothest, velvetiest texture. That's looking good. So I know this is thick enough when it coats the back of a spoon. Oh yeah, look how beautiful that is. Just like that. I'm gonna season it with salt and pepper. And then I'm gonna get some nutmeg. Just a little bit of freshly grated nutmeg adds the perfect hit of warmth. I'm gonna grate in about a quarter teaspoon. I've got Gruyere and ham. Gruyere cheese is funky and fancy. I'm gonna add a couple ounces of this to the sauce and let it melt. Mmm, it smells so good. And potatoes are so mild, they're like a canvas for the cheese. So they need some strong flavors encasing them. I'm ready to assemble. I've got my cast iron skillet and I've coated on the inside with some butter and I'm gonna add a layer of potatoes. And I'm not gonna get too fancy or fussy with this. It's just gonna be a rustic layer. These are gonna melt together when they bake and soak up this cheese sauce. And then I'm gonna season them with a good pinch of salt. I'll top with half of my cream sauce. Mmm, it's just gonna soak right in, in those layers. Let me spread it around to make sure all the potatoes are coated. And next, all of the ham. Sometimes I think that because there's ham in this, it can be a full meal, just this. But then my conscience kicks in some chives for flavor and color. And then the rest of my potatoes, and I'm just spreading them all the way to the edge. This is a great dish to make in advance and bring to a party. It's a crowd pleaser. Everybody always loves the scalloped potatoes, as long as they're salty enough. I finish with the rest of my cream sauce, a sprinkling of that funky Gruyere, and some more chopped chives. Oh, it's so pretty. I could just eat this whole pan. Beautiful. I'll cover this. And now this is gonna bake at 350 degrees for about an hour, and I'm gonna take the foil off for the last 20 minutes so that I can get golden brown and crispy on top. I am ready for this. Oh yeah. That is a beautiful potato situation. Look at how golden it is, and it's so melty. I'm gonna taste it. Oh, it's so creamy. Mmm, mm. it is so flavorful and comforting and the perfect amount of creaminess. 